Ah, good evening, YouTube. Um, tonight I'm working on a new probe. This will be uh, the probe for the MP3 player, which is sitting over here, to boost the output using this little output transformer that I bought from Radio Shack. Uh, I thought about using, well, I am going to use part of this, this probe here, this is a, a test light, 12 volt test light uh, that I had up in my toolbox. I've already taken the lead wire off and the uh, bulb out. And uh, this little thing comes apart, screws on screws. Maybe. Maybe not. And I was going to put the transformer in there. It's already got a hole in the end the lead wire, the new lead wire, but if you can see that lip, I guess you can see that lip, it's just too small to let that transformer fit down in there. So, that's not going to work. Um, what I came up with, in the meantime, was a pill bottle, prescription pill bottle. Um, I've already marked the uh, top which will screw on, glue on to the probe end. There's a, it's hard to see. Uh, let's see, uh, there's a spring sticking out that's connected to the probe itself. I'll attach the uh, lead wire for uh, the transformer for that, to that. And uh, I've ordered up a small perf board and I'll, I'll use that inside of uh, here, I'll mount the transformer. Where'd it go? There it is. The transformer to that uh, perp board and do all the wiring on it and then slide that all into this end here. And this will be mounted on the end of here. And it will just, like I said, I'll glue it on there so it doesn't come off. And then you just attach it just like you would uh, close the pill bottle. And, uh, of course, there'll be a hole in this end for the lead wires, but uh, that should work pretty good. Um, I hope. Anyway, that's the plan. The uh, perp board won't be here probably till next Thursday, uh, or maybe this. I can't remember. If it, yeah, it was next Thursday. Uh, so it'll be a while before I get to finish this, but I, at least I can, this will be part one get an idea of what I'm doing. I would have really liked to use the old end here, but it just it was going to require too much modifications on that and uh, it just wasn't practical. These pill bottles, I had thought about the pill bottles before, even before I, I found this probe and I thought about using that because it was just about the right size for the transformer and everything. So, um, anyway, that will be my new uh, boost probe or whatever you want to call it. Basically what it, uh, the circuit does is uh, this side, I can get it in a frame, the, the uh, secondary side will be, uh, I got that right, secondary, it's the output side of the transformer, will be wired to the, uh, well there'll be one to a .001 cap here and then the other end of that goes to the actual probe and then uh, the other the other wire the white wire will be the uh, the ground wire which will come out with an alligator clip and uh, the two wires on the uh, primary primary secondary wherever it is I get this backwards because I'm actually wired in the circuit backwards uh, that will go to the uh, now, see, I've got it backwards already. The, uh, <laughs> the output side goes to the input. <laughs> There's where I'm going wrong. The output goes directly to the input, which will be coming out of the MP3 player. It goes directly into the output of the transformer. Then the input side goes to the probe. The middle lead, is the black lead, is, is the center tap. It won't be used. But, uh, as I said... Uh, I'll use either the green or the blue, it doesn't matter which. Connect that to the uh, capacitor and then goes through the capacitor to the probe end 
and the other end will go to the ground wire which comes out and is connected to the whatever circuit you're working on. But uh, that should boost the output of the uh, MP3 player a great deal, I hope. We will see. But I've been told on the uh, Antique Radio Forum that uh, this does work. So that's the plan. So stay tuned for part two. Uh, whenever the perp board arrives, I'll, I think I'm going to try to cut it the length of that to where when this this comes down on it with the, the cap on it of course that uh, it'll be just just the right size it'll hold it in place and lock it in place so that's like I say that's the plan I still got to drill that uh, hole out I'll plan on drilling the regular hole and then use my Dremel tool to round it out the rest of the way so I can kind of be precise on how how well it fits that uh, black end so and uh, that should do it. So stay tuned for part two, like I say, and uh, thanks for watching.